to Ridiculous. I hope you're doing well wherever you're in the world. I hope you're living your best life. Part 10. I just can't seem to take the steps to file for divorce. I wish he would just do it. I haven't contacted a lawyer yet. Now given the time on Friday, I've told myself I'll do it on Monday. That way I can have the weekend to do some research and identify a few to contact. I would not take away everything I've done. I wish I had just done some things differently. I know what I did wasn't right because it's hurt some people, which I just really wasn't considering or allowing myself to think about for most of the time. But I don't think I would have ever finally left my husband and gotten a divorce had something like this not happened. I would have been living in a miserable marriage, probably never having children since we never got along well enough for me to ever feel comfortable bringing a child into it. I know this all sounds really selfish. I totally get it. <laughs> I totally get it. But I'm just being honest though. And honestly, I just mainly want to go back in time so I don't screw my life up. So really not for anyone else's sake, but my own. Once again, I'm just being honest. My husband and I had trouble communicating a lot of things, including boundaries. Like many couples, communication was one of our biggest issues. I think we both lost respect for each other quite a while ago. Something that bothers me, he's not an alcoholic. Does he sometimes use alcohol in an unhealthy way, like an emotional crutch? Yes, he does. He's not dependent on it in the sense of drinking every day or getting drunk every day, but rarely does he just have one or two drinks when he does drink. I can't stand to be around him when he drinks. He drives me crazy and causes major disagreements between us. He is on the edge a lot, quick-tempered, quick to be irritated, high income slash performer at work, driven, also picky and particular and very competitive as well and watch out when he loses hmm and he also holds me to these standards i have high standards for myself when it comes to my performance at work and things like that but it's different when somebody else has these expectations for you and you always feel like you're working to impress them and have to keep them happy i'm really not trying to bash my husband in part, some of these qualities are what I also find attractive in him, but it's hard dealing with it 24-7 sometimes. My husband called me several hours ago. He sounded like he'd been drinking. He was asking me to come over to our house and wanted to talk to me. I told him no because he was drunk and I didn't want to deal with him like that and that we couldn't have any real conversation right now. He insisted he wasn't drinking, but I know he was. I felt bad, so I eventually agreed to go talk to my husband. I guess I really just wanted to check on him. My parents warned me not to, but hey, I never listened to any good advice or I probably wouldn't be in this situation to begin with. It did not go well. He was definitely drunk and the empty liquor bottles were proof, but he kept telling me that he wasn't drunk and that he just had one drink. And I'm thinking, yeah, right. First, he started with being mean and insulting me. Then he rapidly changed to, can we raise these babies together? Talk. I told him, no, we can't. And that he doesn't really want that anyway. He told me not to tell him what he wants. I told him he was drunk and to stop saying things he doesn't mean and that he doesn't realize what he's saying right now. Then he got mad at me again. Then he cried. Then he got mad at me again. I told him I really couldn't deal with this right now and that maybe we can talk again when he's sober. Again, he insisted he was sober enough for this conversation, which he obviously wasn't. I ended up packing my cat and all of her belongings to take her to stay with me at my parents' house. Do you know what he tried to do? He tried to grab the cat carrier from me when I was leaving. We got into a big argument. He was like, I'm not gonna hurt your fucking cat. Why do you hate me so much? Why do you think I'm so terrible? I don't think he would ever hurt the cat. I just don't want any sort of reason to feel like I need to go back there anytime soon. I shouldn't have gone over there. I feel so bad though. I don't even want to admit to him that I've been worrying about him. He honestly has been on my mind a lot more than the other man has. I really feel evil for what I've done. Even though I was ready to be done with the marriage a while ago, I still feel really bad. I really do feel like a piece of shit and that I've screwed my whole life up over this now. I don't know what to do to make it better. There's nothing I can do. Sometimes I really wish I hated him. I'm not asking for sympathy here. I know I did all of this. It's just, what can I do now? 
I've never doubted that he did love me at some point. I'm not sure that I equate his current hurt and emotions to love or to something else. I don't think raising another man's children is really what's on his heart at all. I don't know why he said that, but I just blame the emotions on the added mix of alcohol. I don't believe he truly feels that way, even deep down somewhere. I think he would hold it against me and over me forever. Even if we did manage to repair our relationship by some miracle, anytime there was any sort of argument or disagreement, I can just picture it always coming up. Also, knowing myself, I would always feel indebted to him and like I had to make it up to him for the rest of my life. Plus, I don't think it's right to tell the actual biological father that he can't be involved in the kids' lives if he wants to be. I don't think that's fair to him or our babies. I cannot imagine my husband ever wanting to have any sort of contact with the other man again. I just, I just don't know how to go no contact with my husband. I'm finding it harder than I thought, obviously. I don't know how to be without him. Even though I did what I did, I just don't really know how to do anything without him. When I initially thought it would be easy and that when I told him about all of this, it would be the final kick that I needed to just be done with him. But it's not proving as simple as I thought it would be. My husband texted me this morning to say he's sorry about yesterday. I told him he doesn't have to say sorry about anything and that this is my fault. He said, well, obviously I must have done something wrong to make you do this. Ugh. As if he's completely oblivious to how strained our relationship has been for quite some time. But I'm not going to get into that. I told him it's not his fault. If I could just take this all away right now, I would. I don't exactly know when the relationship crossed the line with the other man. I definitely didn't realize it was happening at the time, initially. I was talking to the other man before the separation, but we've been in communication for years. I did probably start talking to him more in the months leading up to the separation, but it still seemed just like a friendship. It wasn't until shortly after the separation that things started to escalate between us. It wasn't him just looking for the right time to get to me. I'm sure after the separation, I allowed myself to become more forward, more flirty, lower the barrier of just being friends. We didn't see each other at all in person for the first two months after my separation. And then when we did see each other, nothing sexual happened the first few times. I think we both knew it was wrong. We both were trying to not go there, you know? But eventually we did. I don't think reconciling with my husband will happen. And even if it did, the whole situation would be a mess. Plus, I don't know how he would just continue on knowing they weren't his children, if we stayed together. I wouldn't want to lie to my children about who their biological father was, but I can't imagine my husband ever wanting the other guy around. I also can't imagine the other guy saying, okay, I won't claim paternity, you be the dad. After all of this, my dad has expressed so much sympathy for my husband. My mom, she's not celebrating what I've done, but she just seems to be more concerned with asking me multiple times why I just didn't get a divorce before starting a new relationship. Based on some things she had said, I think she would have rather I gotten pregnant by my husband. She says stuff like, how did this happen with this man and not my husband? She doesn't get why I had to pick a married man and one that has a child. I told her it's not like I thought, hmm, I want to screw somebody else. Let's think of all the people I could do it with. She thinks he'll go back to his wife and that I'm being delusional if I think he's going to actually be with me. She said she's going to help me no matter what, but, but she really doesn't know how to feel about this whole situation. I'm her oldest daughter. She's been excited for the day I would have children of my own. This is not how she pictured it happening to me, but she can just join the club on that one.